Welcome back, more natural family. Today, we're going to change things up a little bit. We're going to talk about the fruits that can be beneficial and can kill you. But don't worry about all that. So <laughs> first, <laughs> we are just going to dive right into our wonderful products said by my wonderful wife. So if you're just tuning in, I am Bria, co-owner of More Natural with my husband, RJ. Um, the products that we offer here at More Natural are our 8-ounce and our 4-ounce all-over body butter, a beautiful blend of shea butter, cocoa butter, uh, castor oil, rosehip oil, and a few other butters and oils that are great, especially for this winter time that your skin gets dry. We're out in the Midwest, so we need it. We need it. Um, we also have our tea tree and peppermint toothpaste uh, that has activated charcoal, baking soda, coconut oil, some really great uh, minerals to remineralize your teeth. All natural. All natural. And we have our liquid soap. We, this is the cami, which is eucalyptus and lavender, but we also have the raw, which has been selling really well lately. Um, it has like a musky cedar. Like this is what RJ uses personally. And... Yeah. Um, like it's attracting a lot of guys, like a lot of guys are liking this scent. So, yeah. Um, then we also have our waist beads, which have actually been doing, doing exceptionally well. I've gotten a lot of, um, recent requests for customized waist beads and the benefits of the waist beads, um, are besides crystal healing, uh, crystal medicine is maintaining your weight. Like once the waist beads get a little tight, you know, to, uh, start being mindful of your physical well being. <clears throat> And then lastly, this is um, a product that is not on our website yet. Uh, we were just doing trial runs with other people, but I have been personally using this for the last four years. I've had a lot of issues um, with my menstrual cycle, and um, I didn't want to use birth control anymore. I wanted to, you know, go and do it, figure it out how to do it myself. Um, I didn't have a menstrual cycle for almost two years, and I decided that I needed to figure it out. So I came up, uh, did a little research, and came up with these ingredients that I have been using. Um, from then, within seven months, I was able to have my first menstrual cycle. And after another four months, I was able to have regular menstrual cycles that I'm able to plan. And it is all to this. Like, I swear by this. And I've recommended it to many people and they've actually uh, conceived off of it just from rebalancing their hormones. Also, for me personally, like, I change my diet. I exercise regularly with my trainer. So, um, it's definitely a mind, body, spirit concept that you have to incorporate. But yes, this is the blend that I use. So, it will be on the website very, very soon. Alright, and with that being said, make sure you place your orders. Don't forget but now we're going to go to the topic at hand today. So we're going to first we're going to start with a Jamaican fruit called a key. Did I say that? Aki. Aki. I put a lot of emphasis on the last part. We looked it up. We Googled it. Yes, and she was she was right and I was wrong. But because I'm a Virgo. Any, uh, just want to throw this. Can y'all see that? Okay, <laughs> just make sure y'all know. All right. So it's a national fruit of Jamaica. So first, before I jump into the dangers, let's talk about the benefits and what you can get from taking this fruit. So originally, it was banned in the United States. But as of the early 2000s, they decided to lift the ban and certain companies can now manufacture it. Just make sure it's canned. So the main problem occurs when it's not cooked. If you eat it raw, eat it straight up, you will have problems. But it's very rich in potassium, magnesium, calcium, and sodium, and it's low in phosphorus and zinc. So it's very beneficial to your body, which also we can, can still go back to fitness as well, because you need all these things in order to power yourself. So now having said that, let's jump into those wonderful dangers. So the dangers of this fruit is... It's full of a poison <laughs> known as hypoglycin. And if you boil it, it'll boil out. So thereby you won't have to worry about it anymore. But say if you try to eat it unripe or fresh off of the tree, this is what can occur to you. You can end up having a seizure, get into this a coma, or <laughs> you can even <laughs> death. Just, just to let you all know that. 
Okay. So a couple years ago, uh, we we have a really good friend, Shan. Shout out to Shan, who is straight from Jamaica. And she came over and taught us how to make some traditional Jamaican dishes. And she actually brought some ackee. It was like a canned. And, you know, I like to try things in their natural form and then try them cooked. So I was about to, you know, dig in. And she was like, no, you could die. Cut it. Like, that was like, what? I could not... I had never heard of like a food that could kill you. Like, I mean, a, something like that. Like, like that's sold at the store that can also kill you if it's not cooked properly. So, yeah. That was mine and well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, our next fruit on our list is the yellow star fruit, which is originally from Indonesia. Uh, some of the benefits of the yellow star fruit is sodium, potassium. It acts to our body as electrolytes. It helps regulate blood pressure, the um, blood flow in our body, and helps regulate the heartbeat rhythm. Yes. So, all right, for this fruit, I get to play the bad guy. So, this is the things that are the bad sides of the yellow star fruit. So, it's mostly if you have kidney disease, it can affect you drastically to your kidneys. Um, which, yeah. So, uh, with that also... <laughs> Really? <laughs> I cannot take you serious. So you're going to say, should I restart? No, or? just keep going, keep going, keep going. Because you did good. You did good. And then with that, it can also affect your brain. And it can cause neurological disorders within the body due to its neurotoxins within it. And so now we're going to jump to the next fruit. So the next fruit on our list is elderberries. Elderberries originally are from North Africa and West Asia. The benefits of elderberries are the antioxidants and the very many vitamins that help boost the immune system. It plays as an anti-inflammatory, it's good to lessen the stress, and it's good for the heart too. And it also eases and prevents the symptoms of cold and flu. Yes, and with that, let's talk about the dangers now. So... With this, it can cause, due to the cyanide that is within the leaves of it. So you got to take the leaves out before you use the berries. Because we all combine them together, this is what's going to happen to you. So it's filled with cyanide, which can cause nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. So while you cook in the berries, it removes all that cyanide out. And then you have nothing to worry about. And it's a delicious, healthy Okay. <laughs> so the next one on our list is apricot kernel. Yes, yeah, like the seed of the apricot. So it originally is from Armenia, which is like the unofficial border between Europe and Asia. And the benefit of it is B17, which is believed to be an anti-cancer mineral. So unfortunately, that is the only benefit. So that's coming from the kernel itself. So if you actually were to eat your apricot and try to chew up the kernel, these are the symptoms or side effects that you're going to feel. So let's dive into that list, shall we? Your first thing will probably be nausea. You're going to get a fever, probably some headaches, insomnia, increased thirst, lethargy, nervousness, various aches and pains in the joints and in your muscles. And then you're going to have a sudden drop in your blood pressure. So just remember, if you don't know all the science that goes around taking out some minerals, don't do it. Just eat the apricot, throw the seed away. Enjoy your day. So the next one on our list is manchineal, which um, is just on beaches everywhere or anywhere. And, yeah. um, the benefits, there actually are no benefits to humans, but in nature, it acts as a windbreaker and stabilizes the sand, thus retarding beach erosion, which I don't really know what that means. So as far as the beach erosion, it's mostly like a stabilizer from the trees to the roots to keep the sand in place, to keep the sand from coming up too high or diminishing and going away. So that's the environmental standpoint of it. So for all those surfers or people who just love the water and love the beach, 
make sure you not touch this plant. Don't touch this tree whatsoever. Because if you do, it's going to burn your skin. So from the bark, from the branches, the leaves, the sap that can be running from it will scorch your hand or wherever part it will touch. Even if you touch your clothing, it can burn your clothing off almost similar to acid, if you can say. But not as fast. You'll notice it. But it will hurt. That's scary. That's why I don't like water. Yeah. I can swim. I can swim. But I don't like water. Sure. So our next fruit is Pangium el Dule. A.K.A. football fruit. Which is originally from Malaysia. Microdesia and Melanesia. And the benefits is that it is really high in iron and vitamin C. All right, and having said that, once again, it's not as long as the previous fruit was, but it has the ultimate side effect. So first, it will cause sleep and, ah, so let me rewind. What's in it that causes these problems is hydrocyanic, I don't feel like I said that right, but acid. So with that, and it's a toxic plant and the seeds itself can cause sleepiness, delirium, and ready for this? Remember I said ultimate side effect? Death. <laughs> so, um, just stay away. Just, <laughs> just stay away. That's all I have to say. Hydrocyanic acid. There that. you go. Hydrocyanic acid. That's what it has. If you don't know, now, now you, you know. know. I ain't gonna say that last one. The next fruit is Jatropha, which is originally from Mexico and Central America. Um, the benefits is that it has antimicrobial stuff. So which, <laughs> which allows it to be uh, anti-cancer and anti-HIV. Yes, and so having said those wonderful benefits due to what it has, as you may know, I've gotten to the bad stuff. So mostly, this is not to be consumed by people. <laughs> Unless you're a scientist or a doctor and you know how to break this down in order to pull out those antimicrobials. So if you don't, and you just run into it out in Mexico or out in Central America, all parts of this plant are poisonous. Poisonous. The seeds is the worst part because they change the highest concentrate of resin, which is poison. And the side effects of it, if you do take them, are vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, a burning sensation in your throat. So please, 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 once again, unless you are a scientist or a doctor, do not eat it. Nah, bro. So lastly, this is not a berry or a fruit, but this is actually a wood. European spindle wood. Which uh, originally was used to make spindling spindles for sp wood spindling. Or wait, was it what? Wool. Whoa, wool, wool spindling. spindling. That's like a tongue tie. <laughs> oh, wool spindling. And, it's at, and it was also used for uh, skewers, like what we use for cooking, like shish kebabs. Mm -hmm. And of course, having said that, this is, of course, you're not going to digest this. You're not going to eat it, nothing like that. But this was mostly used amongst wood workers, like you were a carpenter or a carver of some kind. Just make sure you had on the proper equipment to fix it up and everything. I mean, once you put on the polish and you fix it up, all the dangers of it is gone. But having said that, um, if you are hit by it, like you get a splinter from it, make sure to pull it out as fast as you can before that poison seeps in. So with that, it will cause just like a lot of these do, nausea, dizziness, strong stomach pains, vomiting, and diarrhea. In some cases, I'm <clears throat> sorry, it may cause you to just go unconscious. And that's, that, that just lights out. <laughs> um, kidney failure has been known to occur. 
uh, you'll see the symptoms within 12 to 18 hours of you getting that splinter or coming in contact with it and it going into your skin. So just make sure you do use this. Be careful. And make sure you know what kind of wood you're getting. And just remember, it's used for shish kebabs too. We made the tikka masala with that. Mm. Okay, so the main reason behind this whole video was because as more naturalists, uh, we always strive to be more natural. We want to have the best fruits and vegetables available to us, even if they're not very local to us. And so we do our research on ordering fruits and vegetables from uh, small businesses across the world to be able to... Um, Provided in our own home, but also possibly provided for our customers as well. And so within this research, we've come up with these uh, different interesting fruits and seeds. And uh, there's also like different meals and, and meats, of course, meats and vegetables, of course, um, that have some interesting side effects and benefits on the other hand. So, um yeah, look out for those for just more informational, food informational, because uh, we definitely need to pay attention more to what the type of things that we're consuming and the reason that we're consuming them in the first place. So a lot of people have different illnesses, even if it's just the common cold or, or if it's, you know, more of a skin issue or a health issue that you can possibly... We are not doctors. We are not specialists. We are not physicians. We are just people who want to be more natural. So we're not treating anything. We're not like still go to a doctor and take the pro the proper procedures. But everything starts at home. So if you want to um, do better by your mind, body, and spirit, then that's what we're here to give you information on. So. All right, and having said that, we're going to go more locally because I know what we just finished talking about is very exotic, very in other countries type thing. So I just wanted to discuss things that are high in pesticides and things that are low in pesticides. So, of course, we're going to discuss the first half, which is the high pesticide list. And this consists of fruits and vegetables. So most of them is going to list them off and just follow along. So you got your apples, peaches, nectarines, strawberries, grapes, celery, spinach, sweet bell peppers, cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, imported snap peas, and potatoes. Once again, those are your high in pesticides. <laughs> I'm sorry. So these are fruits and vegetables that we like more natural cooks with very, very often. And um, but when I buy any fruits and vegetables, for any reason, I always clean them. For Personally, we use warm water and vinegar. We let them sit for a while. We try to, you know, like hard scrub them a little bit, not with like a, like a sponge or anything, but like just our hands, you know. And like you will literally see the wax, the wax coming off, like of apples, like of things that are like super shiny in the gro grocery store. It's because it's a wax on there to, to like make, make it, pretty. right, to make it look pretty because really... When you think about it, you don't want the stuff that looks nasty and raggedy. But if you really think about it, if the bugs and the insects are eating it, that's because it doesn't have as much pesticides and stuff. Because uh, they know that it's good for them. But if they're not eating it, that's when you really want to be concerned. Because it's either made in a lab. Which made. ends up. Plus, also just throw in, if it doesn't have seeds, it means it's made in a lab as well hybrid okay we don't like everything should be able to reproduce if it can't reproduce don't trust it no, no if it can't reproduce naturally if it can't reproduce naturally don't trust it period so these are the type of conversations that you all should be having in your household with your family members with your children with your co-workers like this is things that needs to be like we need to know about the health benefits the and everyday fruits and vegetables that we're eating yes and having said that now I'm just going to jump into the low pesticides, the ones you still clean them. But even if Always. you didn't, you might not have too much to worry about. So having said that, we have avocados, which my wife loves a lot. We have sweet corn, which is another thing she loves a lot too. But corn actually corn on it. a cob is what she enjoys. Okay, so I try to calm down on the corn because corn is not good for you. Corn is full of pesticides and 
really bad things, honestly. And it's just fed as a fattener. So it's really not good for you. We try to lay off on the corn, but I'm from Kansas. She still like it, though. I'm from the Dove K. So, Wichita. But just pay attention to it, though. It's the only thing that don't break down in your body. When it comes out, it's still whole. Keep that in mind. But pay attention to your stool. Let's pay attention. So, continuing the list. We got pineapples, cabbage, frozen sweet peas, onions, asparagus, mangoes, papaya, kiwis, eggplants, grapefruit, cantaloupe, cauliflower, and last but not least, those sweet potatoes. Especially Thanksgiving coming around, so I know y'all about to have some yams. We ain't got a front. Well, let me say this, though. These are things that are low in pesticides, but at the same time, some of these are hybrid, things that should not necessarily be consumed. Um, frozen vegetables made in the lab need a need a uh, combining agent, and a lot of times that combining agent is starch. So, for example, when I first became vegan, I cut open a sweet potato to make some sweet potato fries, and like a white pussy stuff came out, and I'm like, this is not right. I thought it was bad because I had never like ate sweet potato, eaten sweet potatoes like that, so I never really paid attention to. It. I mean, we had it like for Thanksgiving pies, mm -hmm. but really didn't pay attention to it. So I actually threw it away, got another one, did it again. I talked to my mom about it and everything, and so I had to look it up. Like what? And it's starch. And there are things like cauliflower, broccoli, spinach, you know, and you will, you will see more natural eating those kind of things because we are on a transition to yeah. being more natural. We are on a transition to raw vegan, but you know, it, it takes, it takes time. It's it takes steps. So, um, if you're, if you are able to be raw vegan, kudos Power to, to you. you. Right, right. And I need to I learn a little bit from you. Exactly. Right. <laughs> hit, us, hit us up. Give us, give us some notes. Yeah, for real. Yeah. So, yeah. But, all right. I thank all of y'all for tuning in, watching our video. Hopefully, you learned something. If there's anything you may know that we didn't discuss, hit us in the comment block. Please. Let us know. Because we're learning just like you. Just like you. We're not experts. We just. Mm, far from. This is just something we live by and we just love to do. Yeah. So, we just figured we share the love. So. More natural. Peace out. Really? <laughs>